Hey out there, Slot Carland. How's everybody doing this fine weekend? Hope everybody uh, uh, appreciated the fact of uh, me letting take let me take some time off this summer, a couple weeks, just to have some fun and, and not have to worry about doing videos and all that kind of stuff. So thank you everybody for understanding and and uh, all that good stuff. So today we're back with a bi-weekly featured car. Um, hopefully you'll also be seeing a review this weekend as well. I'm hoping. Um, still waiting on a couple parts, and, and um, I'll explain all that in that video if that happens this weekend. So be on the lookout for that as well. So, but first, we got a bi weekly featured car. So, uh, let me get set up and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so this week's bi weekly featured car is probably one of my favorite cars. I've had, I've got uh, two of these, you've seen one of these already. This one is also from that big lot of cars that I bought from my former manager. Um, I've, um, I've had one of these before. I still have one of these that I use as a race car. But this one is complete and is 100%. So this is a collector one now. So the, the really cool Dodge Charger. I love this car. Especially in the white with the black hood. The green windows. Uh, my other one that's a race car, the spoiler is broke on the front of it. But this one is complete. Um, it's got a little bit of Boeing on this one uh, post on this side. But outside of that, it's in great shape. Very nice car. I love the Dodge Daytona and the AFX cars. Really, really cool. Um, really nice car to have. The handle's great, too. I love racing this body. I race this body on my non-mag car. On my AFX car, so very cool. This one is on a. Uh, this one is currently on a Magna Traction chassis. I may build a uh, non-mag for this car to put in the display case for it. Uh, right now, it doesn't have a chassis. I gotta get one. Um, gotta get one. So that's this week's Buy With Me Future Car. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's amazing. It's, it's just mind-boggling how much cars are going for on eBay these days. Um, another place you might look at is some of the eBay or some of the auctions on Facebook uh, that the guys are, are, are doing. You may be able to pick one up very fairly cheaper there than maybe eBay too as well. So be on, be on the lookout for the, some of the Facebook group auctions that go on uh, during the week. And maybe you'll be able to pick one up there as well. So very, very cool. Um, next week, I'm going to uh, want to go back and I want to do another uh, live Q&A. Um, we're going to be doing it on Sat Sunday, next, su next Sunday, uh, noon Pacific time. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I might be able to line up a couple of people to come on as well to do some talking. I want to see if I can get a couple people on and just have some fun and talk slot cars and answer questions and all that kind of stuff. So be on the lookout for that. And also be on the lookout for that review video. Hopefully, it hopefully the parts came in uh, bef before the bef before this weekend, and I was able to get it put together and uh, did the review for you guys. So be on the lookout for that as well. So next week, next Sunday, we're going to be doing a live Q and A. We haven't done one in a while, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, after that, we'll back another biweekly feature car. And then after that, we'll just keep on rocking it and uh, getting ready for the slot car season coming up. It's August, so. Uh, we're going to be starting our season in September, so uh, we're going to get together with the guys and, and hash that all out and be on the lookout for this year's racing season. And uh, just keep on having fun. And remember, keep that pin in the slot. The wheel's on the downside. Keep racing slot cars, and I'll catch you guys with that next video. I'm out. Bye.